ground resonance. Ground resonance is a problem which can occur whilst the aircraft is in contact with the ground. It is an oscillation of increasing amplitude caused by the interaction between vibrations in the rotor system and fuselage vibrations of similar frequency. It starts with the slow rocking of the fuselage but can increase very rapidly. If uncorrected, it can lead to the helicopter's destruction. For ground resonance to occur, four conditions must be met. Self-excited vibration must be present in the rotor system. Fuselage vibration must be present. Rotor and fuselage vibrations must be similar in frequency so that they reinforce each other. The aircraft must be in contact with the ground. Ground resonance is sometimes preceded by the undercarriage padding. This is felt as a lateral oscillation with increasing frequency. Lateral oscillation frequently occurs in helicopters and is to be expected on skidded helicopters in particular. It is not a problem unless their frequency or severity increases to that of ground resonance. Causes of vibrations in the rotor system The most common causes are faulty tracking. Rotor blades are tracked to ensure that the tip path planes of all blades coincide. This is done by making adjustments to the blade's basic pitch settings. If one blade has excessive basic pitch, its tip path plane will be higher than that of the others. More importantly, it has a higher value of rotor drag and therefore maintains an excessively dragged position causing the same out of balance condition. Blades of unequal weight or balance. Blades should be a matched set, which means that their weight and moment should be equal. If these two factors are altered by, for example, ice, water ingress, water ingress into the blade or erosion, then the blades may no longer be matched. Faulty drag dampers. It's important for balance reasons to maintain an exactly equal spacing between each blade. Problems can arise if a faulty drag damper allows its associated blade to assume a dragged position different from all the others. If this happens, the center of gravity of the entire rotor is displaced from the axis of rotation. Causes of fuselage vibration Fuselage vibrations are not normally self-excited and therefore require an outside agent to sustain them, in this case the ground. Typical causes of fuselage vibration are mishandling the cyclic stick during landing which causes the aircraft to bounce from side to side, taxiing, running, takeoff or landing on a rough surface. Incorrect or varying tires and tire pressures. Passengers or stores contacting the undercarriage during disembarkation or a wheel dropping into a hole on landing. Preventing ground resonance. As with most dangerous conditions, prevention is much better than the cure. You can do a number of things to minimize the possibility of ground resonance occurring. Although simple to say, do not mishandle the cyclic stick during the landing phase. If wheel padding occurs, do not wait for ground resonance to follow. Lift off, establish a steady hover and then land again. Do not attempt to taxi or carry out a running takeoff or landing over a rough or uneven surface. Brief your passengers on the danger of contact with the undercarriage during disembarkation. Check the tire conditions and the pressure of the tires before flight. Maintain the correct takeoff rotor RPM until the weight of the aircraft is fully on the undercarriage. On landing, investigate any excessive rotor vibration experienced in flight. 
it's also wise to take some basic precautions just in case your preventative measures don't work. For example, strap in and lock your harness whenever ground running a helicopter. Wearing a helmet is also a very good idea. Ensure passengers and or load are also secure and protected. Recovery actions. Clearly, the most effective method of recovering from ground resonance would be to remove the aircraft from contact with the ground. If the rotor RPM is sufficient for takeoff, then lift off as soon as possible. If the takeoff rotor RPM is not indicating, lower the collective lever, close the throttle and shut down. Apply the rotor brake as quickly as possible. 